Hi, I'm Sean with Catalina Rug, and in this video, we're going to be covering nine different types of silken wool Persian rugs. So, silken wool rugs are known for having really high knot densities, as well as really intricate uh, patterns and designs with a lot of different details. And in this video, we're going to be covering the characteristics that you're going to see in uh, silken wool rugs. We'll also go over some of the benefits you get with silicone wool rugs, and then we'll proceed to go over nine different types of Persian silicone wool rugs. So, for example, we'll go over Tabriz, we'll go over Qom, Nain, Esfahan, and much more. And we'll be giving you the uh, characteristics for each of these types and also showing you some examples from each type. So if you're interested in silicone wool rugs and you want to learn more about them, then stick around and all that is coming up now. All right, so first let's go over the typical characteristics that you're going to find in silicone wool Persian rugs. And we'll also spend a little bit of time defining what we mean by silicone wool Persian rugs. So silicone wool Persian rugs, uh, what they typically have is that they're either going to have a cotton foundation, this is pretty common, but the pile is going to be made of both silk and wool. And then on the other side we have where the rug has a silk foundation, but the pile is also silk and wool. And typically what you're going to find is that the weavers are going to be using the silk in the pile to highlight the more detailed parts of the design and, and make the design more intricate. So the silk is used to bring attention to those parts of the design. And we'll also be going over a little bit of 100% silk Persian rugs, which have both a silk foundation and silk pile, and they use no wool at all. Uh, we'll be talking more about that when we talk about Qom rugs. And then uh, something to also uh, consider when it comes to the characteristics of uh, silk and wool Persian rugs is the knot density. So if you have a silk and wool Persian rug with a silk foundation, then typically you're going to find that the knot density is going to average to be higher and it's going to be anywhere between 500 knots per square inch to 1,000 knots per square inch. And then when you are looking at a, a silk and wool Persian rug that has a cotton foundation, not a silk, but a cotton foundation, then typically the knot density is going to be anywhere between 400 knots per square inch to 700 knots per square inch. Um, so that's something to um, notice when it comes to the knot density. Whenever it's a silk foundation, it's going to be slightly higher than when it's cotton foundation. And then uh, finally, another thing to notice about the characteristics of silk and wool Persian rugs is the pile height, which is typically going to be a shorter pile height. And the reason for that is that uh, having a shorter pile height allows the rug to really show off its details and uh, the intricacies of it. Uh, and for that reason, when the rug is finished, they typically will cut the pile height shorter and that will allow the silk and wool design to really show off. All right, so now let's go over the benefits that we get from combining silk and wool in the pile. So what are the benefits of silk and wool Persian rugs? So the first thing is that whenever we have wool being used along with silk, we're going to have a more thick and durable pile because of the use of wool, which is generally thicker than silk and more durable. Next thing is the silk po uh, parts of the pile. These allow us to bring more, uh, again, attention to the details uh, of the pattern and the design and, and also the different colors. So that's what the silk highlights allows us to do. Another thing that the silk allows us to do is uh, bring up the knot density uh, in the pile. So uh, whether the silk is being used in the foundation or just being used in the pile along with the wool, the silk, because it's more uh, delicate, it's going to allow for a higher knot density. So knots per square inch are going to go up. Therefore, there's going to be uh, more ability to showcase the details in the pattern. Uh, another thing about using silk in the rug is that it's going to make the pile feel more delicate and softer to walk on. So generally silk has that more softer 
feel to it, so it adds to the, the look and the feel of the rug. Uh, and of course, combining the wool with the silk allows the rug to be more affordable because of course, if the rug is made of 100% silk, which we'll go over uh, the Qom rugs, which some of them are made of pure silk, those are gonna be uh, a lot more expensive because uh, silk being used as the material for all of the rug is gonna be much more expensive than using wool and silk. So affordability is another reason we combine wool and silk to create these rugs. And then uh, lastly, the using silk and wool brings a lot of balance uh, to the rug because you get to combine both the strengths of silk and the strengths of wool together to create a nice nice uh, detailed looking uh, strong durable and yet soft um, rug so those are the benefits of silk and wool rugs all right now that we went over the common characteristics of silk and wool persian rugs and we also discussed uh, the key benefits that you get in these type of rugs now let's go ahead and start going over nine different types of silk and wool Persian rugs and we'll get started with one of the most famous types which is Qom Persian rugs. All right, so let's go over silk and wool Qom Persian rugs as well as 100% silk Qom rugs. So when it comes to Qom rugs, you're gonna find that they're typically gonna be the most expensive types of silk and wool Persian rugs and really the most expensive types of Persian rugs. Uh, what you're going to typically find is that they're going to have the highest knot density as well in these type in these silk and wool uh, Persian rugs, and about 90% of Qom rugs are going to be made with 100% silk. So we have a both silk foundation as well as a silk pile, and then the remaining 10% are going to be made with uh, silk or cotton foundation and then a silk and wool pile. So majority of them are gonna be 100% silk. Now when we have the ones that are 100% silk, typical knot densities are gonna be between 600 to 1000 knots per square inch, which is really high. And then when it comes to the other ones where they have maybe some cotton or maybe they use some wool in the pile, those ones are gonna have between 400 to 700 knots per square, square inch, which is also still pretty high. So when it comes to uh, signatures on Qom rugs, I just wanted to mention a couple of things to note. So the first thing is that the newer Qom rugs are typically going to come with signatures on them. So the workshops are making the newer ones do put signatures on their rugs. And then when it comes to the older Qom rugs, although they're made in workshops, they're not always going to have signatures all on them. A lot of them actually don't have signatures that are older. Now let's go over the colors that you'll see in Qom rugs. So typically you're going to find that Qom rugs are going to come with colors like green, and light green and peach and cream and yellows. And also you'll find that their background colors are a lot of times going to be dark blue, dark red, dark burgundy, and even black. Uh, and you're going to see that Qom uses a lot of highlights of gold and like yellow colors. Uh, also, something else to note about Qom rugs is that uh, the water in Qom is actually uh, a special kind of water that's pretty salty. And it, when you wash the silk and wool rugs or silk rugs in this water, it makes the silk feel more softer and shinier. And for this reason, of course, like all the uh, rugs in Qom, they wash it in this water. And also, uh, rugs, silk and wool rugs from all over Iran, whenever they make them, they send it to Qom afterwards to wash it in this type of water to have that effect on the silk. So that's something interesting about the uh, water in, in Qom. All right, so now let's go over Esfahan silk and wool rugs. So the first thing to note about Esfahan rugs is that Generally speaking, they're second most expensive types of silk and wool rugs. Uh, so after Qom, you're gonna find Isfahan is some of the most expensive ones. And um, also they make very intricate, really detailed design, just like Qom rugs. And uh, of course they have really high knot density, which we'll go over. When it comes to the, the material used in these rugs, you're gonna find that with the silk and wool rugs, Isfahan makes both uh, rugs with silk foundation and then silk and wool pile. 
and also they make uh, rugs with a cotton foundation and silicon wool pile. Notice that they don't make uh, the rugs that are 100% silk like Qom does. Uh, you're you're going to have either a cotton foundation or silk foundation, but the pile is always going to be either silk or, and wool. So, and this is specifically when we're talking about silk and wool Isfahan rugs. Um, also, another thing to note is that when we have a silk foundation, again, your the knot density is going to be generally higher, so we can expect it to start around 600 knots per square inch and go up. And then if the uh, Isfahan rug has a cotton foundation, the knot density is going to start around 400 knots per square inch and go up from there. Uh, the typical colors that are common in Isfahan rugs are blues and reds. And uh, usually Isfahan rugs are going to have signatures on them. All right, so now let's go over silken wool nine rugs. So silken wool nine rugs are always going to have a cotton foundation. So they do not use silk in their foundation. And when it comes to the pile, they use both silken wool and the silk is used as a highlight. So you're going to find like ivory silk, blue silk, and um, different areas of the rug being highlighted with silk. Another thing to note about nine is that they they use the word la to talk about the knot density. This is specific to nine. So for example, uh, you'll hear four la, six la, nine la. And what happens is that the higher the la number is, actually the lower the knot density. So it's kind of counterintuitive. For example, when you're looking at a four la, it's gonna have a 650 knots per square inch on average. So when you're talking about a six law nine, it's usually gonna have between 400 to 500 knots per square inch. And then when you're looking at a nine law nine, it's gonna have between 200 to 300 knots per square inch. So if you're looking into nine rugs, um, you could always ask about or look into the law. Another thing to note about Nain rugs is that there are a few different famous workshops in Nain and they usually don't use signatures so you're not going to find a lot of signatures on Nain rugs. Uh, when it comes to the colors of Nain rugs, you're going to find that a lot of them have that white creamy background, they're going to have red background, sometimes blues, and even sometimes there's Nains that have a green background. Um, also when it comes to the highlights, you're going to find a lot of blues and beige and light brown being used in their highlights as well as ivory colors. All right, so now let's go over the famous Tabriz rugs and here we're focusing on silken wool Tabriz. So if you're looking for silken wool Persian rugs, of course, another option you have is in Tabriz because Tabriz makes all sorts of Persian rugs. And something to note about uh, Tabriz silken wool rugs is that you're going to typically have silk and wool pile, but you're not going to find too many that are 100% silk. Uh, so you're also going to have either a silk foundation or a cotton foundation. But again, the pile is always going to be made with silk and wool. Uh, something else is that the workshops in Tabriz, there are specific workshops that focus on making just silk and wool Tabriz rugs. So you could always look into those workshops because that is their specialty. And also uh, Tabriz makes a lot of pastel colors when they make the silk and wool rugs. So you can expect pastel colors if you're looking into a Tabriz silk and wool rugs. If you want to learn more about Tabriz, we have a lot more videos on Tabriz where we focus just on them so you can watch those. All right, so now let's go over silk and wool Kashan rugs. And there's not a whole lot to go over here because uh, the newer Kashan rugs, they're not made with silk and wool. You're going to always find that newer Kashan rugs are going to have cotton foundation and wool pile. But if you are looking into the older Kashan rugs, you can find some silk and wool ones. And typically they're going to have a silk foundation and then they're going to have a silk and wool pile. So uh, Generally speaking, Kashan is not going to have a lot of options for you in silk and wool, but if you look into the older ones, you may find some. All right, so now let's go over Mashad silk and wool Persian rugs. So something to know about Mashad is the older Mashad versus the newer ones. So with the older uh, silk and wool Mashad rugs, you're going to find that only their foundation is going to have silk in it. The, the pile is going to be made out of 100% wool. And then when it comes to the newer Mashad rugs, you're going to find that they'll have 
the silk foundation and then they'll have the silk in the pile as well. So you're going to have a silk and wool pile. Uh, and if you're looking for darker colors uh, and looking for a silk and wool Persian rug, then Mashad would be a great option because they have a lot of black and burgundy in their background. And then they use, uh, as far as their highlights, they use beige, gold, light green, and yellows. All right, so now let's go over Mood Mashad, or sometimes just referred to as Mood Silk and Wool Persian Rugs. So when it comes to the Mashad Moods, you're gonna find that they're gonna have a cotton foundation and silk and wool pile, and only the newer Mashad Moods are gonna come with the silk and wool pile. The older ones only made them with cotton foundation and wool pile. And usually you're going to find that these types of rugs are going to have signatures on them. And as far as the workshop that makes them, the famous Iran Rug Co. makes a lot of the Mood Mashad rugs. And typical colors you're going to find in this type of rug is going to be beige, blues, rusts, and reds. Also, another thing to note is about the design of the silk and wool uh, Mood rugs which is usually Harati design. You're going to find a lot of Harati patterns in this type of rug. Now let's go over Bijar silk and wool Persian rugs. And I was personally pretty surprised to find out that Bijar even makes silk and wool rugs. So it turns out that Bijar does have uh, some silk and wool rugs and uh, typically these rugs are going to be made with cotton foundation and you're going to find that the silk and wool is only used in the pile where the silk is used as the highlights as usual. So when it comes to the background colors and these types of rugs, you're going to find that they're going to have a lot of cream, rust, and black, which is typical in Bijar. And when it comes to their highlight colors, you're going to have greens, peach, browns, and blues. And also something else to note about silk and wool Bijar rugs is that they're always going to have a floral pattern and that a lot of them do have signatures on them when they're made with silk and wool. All right, now finally we're going over Turkmen silk and wool Persian rugs. And really in Turkmen there's only one village, the famous village of Yamut, which makes the silk and wool Turkmen rugs. And what they do is that they use silk for just the foundation. The pile is still made of 100% wool and they're able to reach higher knot density because of this uh, silk foundation. So you're going to find that the Yamut uh, Turkmen rugs are going to have a higher knot density and more intricate detailed design. And typically they're not going to have any signatures on them. And the background colors that you're going to find in these Yamut rugs is going to be reds, browns, and beige, uh, which you'll typically see in most Turkmen rugs. And the highlight colors they use are black, brown, red, and beige colors. All right, so this concludes our video on nine different types of silk and wool Persian rugs. I really hope that you found this video helpful. Now, if you want to learn more about silk and wool rugs, or if you want to learn more about any other types of Persian rugs, then I invite you to go over to our site, catalinarug.com, and look up the different types of rugs there. You could read more about them, watch more videos about them, and you can check out our collection. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, then I invite you to like and subscribe and comment below, and I will see you in the next video.